What's up, YouTube enemy? My name is Mudo. First of all, I want to thank you guys and Jason for allowing me to post onto your channel and hopefully giving me the opportunity to maybe get myself out there a little bit more and entertain you guys. First 30 seconds, I want to spend explaining to you guys a little bit about myself and my channel. And straight after, we'll get into the topic which I have for you guys today. On my channel, I mostly post theoretical videos. I generally talk about topics which don't have a straightforward answer to them. And so far, you know, my viewers, my subscribers, I like to call them my friends, like the people who interact with me, they generally seem to enjoy those kind of videos more than uh, just me talking about a certain video game or a certain news article or something that happened, you know, at that point in society. And that's great, you know, for me personally, I enjoy making those videos more anyway. So for them to actually be enjoying those kind of videos more than me just talking about them, actually doing generally what normal YouTubers or normal gameplay commentators do, I think that's great. So pretty much on my channel, I post theoretical videos. And I also have a second channel where I I pretty much just play video games and do the normal YouTube gaming thing as well. As I am a gamer, um, I'm pretty, I'm a pretty hardcore gamer, and I just didn't want all these games that I generally play to be sitting around here without me giving them some love, I suppose. But let's get straight into the topic. Today, I want to talk about success. I think success is something we can all have an interest in. So personally, for me, there are two ways you can define success, and hopefully today I want to explain to you guys how the first way does not lead to the second way, but the second way can, and most likely will lead to the first way. So the first way to define success I think everybody can agree with is pretty much spending a decent amount of time on whatever you want to be successful at. You know, when I was in school, I was told that a famous researcher once said that to, in order to be successful at something, you need to spend three hours on it every day or 365 days in the year. Pretty much you have to spend three hours on it every day for every single day in the year for three years for you to be considered good. And that generally does make sense, you know, if you ever want to be good at something, you have to spend a decent amount of time on it. I actually heard from, I think, Fear, I think it was, once that I was watching a Fear video and Moho actually stated that Fear sometimes spends up to seven hours a day, you know, practicing if they have like a certain event coming up. Seven hours a day, just playing that one game, you know, practicing over and over again, you know, your tactics, you know, your roots, all that kind of stuff. Actually, Fear are a pretty good example and actually a lot of other pro gamers and pro teams are a good example of this technique because they do actually spend you know a decent amount of time actually I should say they spend a lot of time on the game practicing and refining their skills that's what makes them you know the best I suppose so yeah pretty much all I'm trying to say if you guys ever want to be good at something the general idea is for you guys to spend at least three hours on it every day for three years minimum and then you can be considered good at that one thing but that's enough for that I suppose I do on my videos link certain theories and certain subjects to gaming and YouTube and all that kind of stuff because I think that's something that we can all relate to. This is a YouTube video so I'm guessing and this is a YouTube gaming video actually. So I'm guessing anybody who's actually watching this video actually has some interest in either the subject, the game or YouTube as a whole. And now I should probably mention the second way of being successful, which is being happy. You guys are probably wondering how does being happy actually make you successful, but yeah, I've spoken to many people you can consider successful in their respected fields. And the general idea and the general message that they try to get across to me was offer something different than most people are offering and that will actually cover you like in the business sense, you know, offer something different, you know, provide a niche, you know, provide a service for a niche and then people will come and buy your service or your product but the one thing they really tried to get through my head and get into me was that if you're not enjoying what you're doing there's no point actually you doing it because you never actually put the right effort into it but do you actually enjoy something that you didn't really actually have a choice in doing like do you actually enjoy something which you are forced to do i mean you might you never know i mean it does sometimes happen you know people actually do end up enjoying something that they didn't think that they would enjoy at the beginning it's very rare, actually, I should say, in my experience, it's very rare that you actually find somebody enjoy something that they have to do because they'd rather be doing something that they enjoy. And that is pretty much what I meant by the first way does not really lead to the second way, but the second way can lead to the first way because you will eventually, if you do enjoy what you're doing enough, you will eventually put more time into it. So the message I'm pretty much trying to get out to you guys is don't worry too much about where you're at when you're doing things as long as you're enjoying them. I mean, for example, me, I do not have... By all means, in no sense of the word, do I have the largest YouTube channel. But for some very odd reason, like recording gameplay and talking over it, I mean, regardless, I'm gonna play the games regardless. Either way, I'm a gamer, I'm a pretty hardcore gamer actually. But recording it and then using a microphone to talk over it and commentate over it, for some very odd reason, that's actually enjoyable. I actually look forward to making commentaries and that's pretty cool. Like, I find that interesting. I find it's a hobby for me at the moment. 
So a message I'm pretty much trying to get out to you guys is don't really worry about success as a word or as a theory. Worry more about being happy doing what you're doing. Because if you're happy doing what you're doing, you will put more time into it. And that actually will lead, you know, to you becoming better at that certain aspect or that subject or that field. And that's pretty much it. Enjoy what you're doing and then you will put time into it and then you will get better at it and then you will get successful. But don't do something because you want to be successful at it. Do something because you enjoy it and then you will become successful at it pretty much. And that's, you know... That's pretty much the same message, you know, all these big YouTubers give you, you know, do it because you enjoy it. Don't do it, you know, for such needless things as money and, you know, for fame and success and for glory and all that kind of stuff. Do it because you enjoy it and then the other things will just pretty much fall into place. But that's pretty much it. I want to thank you guys for giving me this time to actually, you know, entertain you guys. If it was entertaining and if it wasn't, I apologize. My name is Moodox. Like I said before, I've got a channel which I pretty much do these kind of commentaries, you know, more theoretical commentaries. And I've got another channel which I pretty much do strictly gaming. Both of them will be in the description, so choose your pick, I suppose. And once again, I want to thank you guys for allowing me to post onto your channel. And I also want to thank Jason, Jeep Guy. I'll see you guys on my channel or Pixel Enemy some other time. Peace.